Okay guys, 5-2, solving inequalities using multiplication and division. Um, one major change on this one we'll get to in just a minute, but most of it is done basically the same way. First, my goal is to recognize uh, the operation. So in these first couple examples, let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at multiplication first. If I had If I had 4x is greater than or equal to negative 16, I want to isolate the variable, so I want to move my 4. Because the 4 and the x are multiplying, I'm going to do the opposite operation, which is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4. These 4's are going to cancel, because 4 divided by 4 equals 1. So I have 1x is greater than or equal to, and negative 16 divided by 4 is going to be negative 4. Now they'll ask you to put these on a number line again. I'm going to take my number line here and let's see I need to get to negative 4 so I'm going to go with 0, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to go one more space. Now Above it, I'm going to have a closed circle because it's greater than or equal to. And when I read it, it says greater than. So greater than will go to the right. X is greater than or equal to negative 4. A division example might look something like this. Um, I don't want to do that yet. That's going to be my rule change in a minute. <clears throat> x over 2 is less than or equal to 16. Anything that looks like a fraction, you should think division. The opposite of division is going to be multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the 2. Because this is a fraction, I can make my 2 a fraction, 2 over 1. That means those 2's are going to cancel, leaving me 1x is less than or equal to, and 16 times 2 is going to be 32. Now, when I put this one on a number line, obviously I don't want to count by 1's this time. Um, I'm going to 32's. I might go by 8's. I would I would start here with 0, 8, 16, 24, 32. Maybe even go one past it and go to 40. And because it's less than or equal to, again, that's going to be a closed circle. And less than is to the left. Now, here's the major change. Um, let's say I had negative 3x less than 27. There is a rule when you divide or multiply by negative numbers, inequalities. So here is the rule. Through the power of technology, just fast forward ahead, and the rule is, or the rule states, when you multiply or divide by a negative number, you must change the inequality sign. What I mean by changing is this is going to change from less to greater, only because what I'm about to do is I'm about to divide the sides by a negative number. Again, those negative 3's will cancel. Because I divided by a negative number, I have to change the sign. And 27 divided by negative 3 is negative 9. Now, if I were to put this one on another line, I'll go down here just a little bit. Um, let's see, I've got negative 9, so I'm going to start there with, whoop. 
zero. Let's go by threes. Okay, it does not have an equal to sign underneath it, so this is going to be an open circle. And because it says greater than negative 9, greater will always be to the right. So all numbers in that set are greater than negative 9. Let's go ahead and do a... Um, something like that. Negative two-thirds x is greater than or equal to eight. What can I multiply the negative two-thirds by to make it one? And this rewinds to what we did in our earlier equations. It's the multiplicative inverse or the reciprocal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply side by its reciprocal, which is going to be 3 over negative 2. I'm going to go ahead and make this a fraction. And I'm going to go over here and cancel. My 3's cancel. My negative 2's cancel. That gives me x. Now, what did I multiply by? Did I multiply by a negative value? In this case, yes, I multiplied by 3 over negative 2, which makes that fraction negative. So I have to take my inequality sign and change it. Now, over here, we can do some canceling. Let's go ahead and look at the sign. I've got a positive 8, I've got a negative 3 halves, or a 3 over negative 2, however you would like to read it. I have a positive times a negative, so that's going to make my answer negative. Now let's do the canceling. 2 goes into 8 four times. There's nothing else to cancel on the bottom, so I multiply straight across, and 4 times 3 is 12, giving me a final answer of x is less than or equal to negative 12. A little extra dot out there for some reason. Let's see if I can get rid of that. There we go. Okay, so I need to get to negative 12 by 6's. I'm going to have 0, negative 6, negative 12. I'm going to go one more to negative 18. I like to have one on either side. So it is uh, less than or equal to. So because it's less than or equal to, the equal to bar on the bottom, that means I have a closed circle. And less is going to be drawn to the left side. So that is multiplying and dividing equations using inequalities. We will graph each answer on a number line. If you have any questions, we'll see you in class tomorrow.